right guys so we voted on our instagram page at stolex afri fashion academy that what tutorial do we want a or b we all voted and team b won so this is team b tutorial let's go right here are the measurements needed for this particular dress so start with the um, cutting what you need to do is that you need to fold your fabric with your largest circumference so if you are a very busty person and your bust is the largest circumference, that means you are folding your fabric using your bust measurement by by four. If your hip is your largest body circumference, that means you are folding your fabric using your hip measurement by by four, then you have your allowance. So now what I want to do first is that I want to take my um, length, my dress length. So I'll be using length 40. But because I need to fold this and also um, so that I can have something to end on the lower part, I'll be making use of length um, 41 ordinarily. Ordinarily, what I mean is that ordinarily, I'll be making use of length 41. So I folded my um, material more than my larger circumference because the fabric has a pattern and I want the pattern to kind of be at the center of the dress so that's why i have the circle around here so i have excess so now I'll come to my shoulder and measure my shoulder so to take your shoulder measurements what you do is that um, your shoulder measurement divided by two my shoulder is 15 divided by two is seven and a half then i had it half plus half and that is eight so i'll be taking it right here Then on my shoulder line, I'll come down. Your arm hole measurement divided by two is what you use for your shoulder line. Your arm hole line, rather. Then you come down. So on that part, it is very, very important that you measure from your shoulder. And from the shoulder line, I'll measure my shoulder to bust point. Because it's on that bust point that will take the bust circumference. That's the first part of the bust. So from the shoulder line to my half length, I will note it because that is the place I will take the waist measurement. Also, you can also measure from your shoulder point to your hip point. And on that part, you take your hip circumference at the same time. So to measure uh, my bust point now, I mean my bust circumference, what I will do is that whatever your bust is, you divide it by 4. So my bust is 36, divided by 4 is 9. And on this part, I will measure 9 inches. I will do the same thing for my waist, divided by 4, and also for my hip, divided by 4. I'll connect these three lines and bring it down. But remember that on our shoulder, we are not done. We need to make our shoulder slant and also create our neck. So on this part, you come down with one inch and also before you can know where to connect it, the neck is very, very close to the, to the nape. The nape is the highest part of the neck. So what you do is that you measure for myself, I'll be using three. My shoulder is 15, so I'll use three inches for the width. Then for the depth, I will use um, three inches as well, so that I can have it high, like a um, round neck. So from the start of the neck now, I'll connect it to my shoulder. This is a free hand illustration. You can see I'm not using any pattern tools because I don't want it to look so complicated for our beginners. That's why I'm just using a free hand. So on my hand, I'm going to measure my arm most circumference divided by two. If you don't know how to take your accurate body measurement, you can go to my YouTube channel at Taylor's or by Tulex Africa, where you get to see videos on how to take accurate body measurements. So now I will take my arm hole. On, the, on your mid arm hole, you come in with half of an inch so that it can take all the excess that we cause gaping on that part. Then you measure your arm hole. 
and you connect it. So this is your body measurement. But because this dress, it's not a fitted dress per se, and it's not so loose. So there is a loose fitting on the dress. So what you do is that you are going to add to the body measurement, apart from your regular allowance. So what you're going to do is that you're going to add one inch to your body measurement and for the allowance you can add another one inch so in total i'll be using two inches i don't really like so much allowance for my dress so i add two inches all through but remember that my sewing allowance is just uh it's just one inch this dress does not have a gap there is no point creating that for uh the dress with a loose, loose fitting and you can see that it was styled with belt but if you like you can go ahead and create your own dart and if you are creating a dart just know that on your waistline you have to create extra one inch so that by the time you're taking your dart you won't have a tight dress because it's not a fitted dress so this is it i've added the allowance and also i have added the dress allowance i said two allowances because i want it not fitted and i also the same allowance has been added so i added two inches all through so on the lower part there is something important we need to do on this lower part which is if you look at the dress very well it has um it has some ankara fabric gathered at the lower part so, and you remember that I take my short dress length right here. So now I will take out the excess. I mean, the one that I will gather, I will take it out so that I don't have it too long. If the length of your gown is, um, let's say, 45 now, you need to take out about 6 inches to make that gather. Because if you use the 45 direct, by the time you have 6 inches to it, that means you have 51 length. So the total of your length must be um, the total of your length. That means you have included the dress length and the gathered um, fabric length. I hope that makes sense. So now I will be subtracting the amount I want to gather. Yours could come below the hip, but for me, I just want to do it like that lady's one, and I will take out five inches. I want to believe this is so easy to understand. So I'm taking out five inches, which means that I'm not cutting here. I'm cutting from here, and this will be where I will gather. So whatever measurement you have here, now I have to. If I want it really full, I can do times four of this for the front, times four of this for the back. If you don't want it, you don't have too many fabric. You can just do times two, times three, so that by the time you pleat it, you have it full. It depends on what you want. So now I have my front, and I'm going to cut exactly this front now. So now this is the back, the remaining piece of my fabric, and I'm going to place the front on it. So that I can cut the back, right? So I'll be creating a zipper for the back because, like I said, it's not so tight and at the same time, it's not so loose. So I'll make sure that I let um, two inches for the zipper at the back and I'll cut. Like this, that the back is a little bit higher 
than the front. But make sure that your shoulder line is exactly the same thing. So this is it. This is it for the back. And what I'll just do for this back to give it a little fit on the back is that on my waistline, I will extend all my lines, bust points in towards the back as well. You can see this. So what I'll do is that on this back, from the starting point right here, I will come in with half inches. If it's a fitted dress, I would have come in with one inch. Or let me just come in with one inch. Since it's an in-between dress. So what I'll now do is that I'll connect it down towards my lip line. Can you see that? Very, very easy. The right here, I will go straight up. Very, very easy. I came in with one inch. I came back to my lip line here. So that this is just what will give your clothes a bum bum fit. So that your boat, um, your boat can sit perfectly inside the dress. Better still, you can do the regular back line, but I just feel I should just tell you this, you know, this announcement that you not pay for, brief, but it's a method that give um, your dress a better fit. So this is my front and this is my back. So you can make it a sleeveless and leave it like this, but if you want to attach sleeve, I have a video on my YouTube channel where I made exactly that sleeve. So I'll put the links in this comment or in the description box or in the caption somewhere so that you can just go watch the video and attach your sleeve. I'll go ahead and make the lower part right now so that you all can see that. So guys, now I have turned um, the neck with bias, joined the shoulder, and I'm just placing my front on my back so that I can just take out where the zipper line will be. So now I will use my chalk to trace out the zipper line. So it's going to be exactly on this part. Like I'm going to follow exactly here so that it can fit well at the back and I'll join my side seam and also attach my sleeve like I said the video tutorial on how to make your basic sleeve is on our YouTube channel so you can just go ahead and watch it so guys this is the dress but we are not ready yet we're almost ready so now I'm about to make the lower part of the dress that means the gathered part so what I'll do now is that I'll measure what I have here. Remember I took half away the lower part of the dress. So I'll measure what I have here and I'll subtract it from my full length. This is 35. So my full length that I took was uh, 42. So now I have the remaining right here. So the remaining that is here is what I'll gather on the lower part. You can see, like I said, you can cut thrice of whatever circumference you have here and cut it straight so you now gather it on the sewing machine so that is exactly what i'll be doing now you can see it's looking like it already yes so i can't wait to show you the results but you just have to calm down okay so let me go and sew it now so that you can just see what it would look like voila this is my dress and i'm so loving it like it's so beautiful i got compliments i made my longer because that is the way i want it so you can add you can subtract just be creative vote next time so that we can have more tutorial bye